He's still in that step figuring back. Back. out process. Yes. But Eccles, as uh, we suspected, is a very fine challenger. This is legit. Antoine Eccles, despite the sanctioning chaos of the boxing of all of the organizations right now, this is one guy who was ranked in the top five by all of them, including number one in the IBF, the title they're fighting for. Him. He's one, two, and two in the ranking, so a very legitimate challenger to the title of Bernard Hopkins. And a four. We get a couple of chances to watch the last word weeknights. It's at 6.30, and then again at midnight, the last word with Jim Rome. Tell it like it is, 6.30 p.m. and midnight, right here on Fox Sportsnet. Very excited over in Antoine Eccles' corner. He's getting a real earful there, but mostly uh, uh, encouragement. He pats on the back and attaboys for the way that he's been fighting so far. Straight right hand a moment ago from Hopkins, and answers with a right hand of his own. Barry Tompkins with Rich Murata and the champ Sean O'Grady were in round five of the IBF Middleweight Championship. Antoine Eccles is a kid who had... Well grounded in a good amateur career, he made it in fact to the Olympic box office, the finals. He lost to the man who went to the Olympic Games, Raul Marquez, who in a very controversial final fight, Antoine was stunned Marquez. Oh, oh and yeah. Eccles just got stunned there and by Hopkins' right hand. And I'll tell you what, he didn't take a step back. Right. He knew it. That's right. Don't do it. Watch that. 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 Now he has been knocked down. Has another right hand from Hopkins. Maybe he has found something. Brian Barbosa knocked him down a few fights back in the seventh round, and uh, he came back to knock out Barbosa two rounds later. And right back comes Eccles. Eccles don't get wild. Hopkins punches straight. Eccles is winning punches from the outside. Another right hand by Hopkins. It's all about control, but what Eccles is trying to do is take the play back away from Hopkins. Look at that. Big combination. combination. Big come. Those kind of punches are going to win the fight for Bernard Hopkins. It's combination shots, too. Look at Bernard now. Look at the confidence now. You don't see him boxing around like he was earlier in this fight. He knows what's happening. Eccles talking to him, saying, come on, and uh, Hopkins uh, has obliged. We change in the tide of this fight. Hopkins, though, sharp shooting him in this round. The quicker, sharper punches. And making him come after him. Look, Bernard backing up to get, to get Eccles to run into something. We're all part of that figuring out a way to win process we talked about. And he's a puck. Uh, great to watch. Oh, look at that. Right hand. Right hand again by Hopkins. And Eccles' right. punches are slowing down, down, becoming a little more arm. Those oh, body shots just take so much out of you. You know, those shots accumulate. You can shake the cobwebs in those head shots, not the body punches. We can kiss the right hand. Bernard thinks that right hand is going to land it and end this fight. A big, big round for Bernard Hopkins. Best punch of the fight was landed by Bernard Hopkins last round. Watch the right hand. Not that one. There it is. Beautiful right hand. Even Eccles nodded uh, with some respect. Good punch to the champ. He was nodding to get his mouthpiece back in his mouth. <laughs> you can see Eccles uh, in round five actually threw more punches you would expect that, but look at the connect percentage of Hopkins. 27 of 28. I don't believe I've ever seen that. Oh. A big right hand. So no matter what happens with Hopkins beginning to dominate the fight, or even if he does dominate it completely, Eccles is right there, still in it, because sure. he's got that power. And but, but that is working against him, because look what Hopkins is doing now. Hopkins bringing him in, sucking him in. See how Hopkins moving, trying to take the power out of his punch with his leg, his own leg, and he's scoring. Look at him move back. Come on in here. Come on and follow me around. Follow me, dance with me, and then that's when he scores. Bernard's such a pro. Antoine can, needs to cut off the wing instead of following him in there. He was cut doing that. Up. He was doing that earlier. He's not doing it now. And that's where he scored well. Right. Good left hand again by Eccles.
ankle, so he just will not go away. And Hopkins with a right hand is up. You know, they keep talking to Eccles. There was a vulnerable position that he wanted to get Hopkins in, and that is moving in with his left hand down. Look at Hopkins' left hand. Look how high he's carrying it now. Well, not right here, but watch him pull it up. Trying to keep it up, he's been eating too many right hands. Well, he was told that was was in his corner. You've got to use your trick now, Antoine. You've got to use your trick. I haven't quite been able to pick out if he's used the trick yet, exactly what that would be. The low blows there by Eccles. I got it. Three step back. These are rock-like, meaty blows that these guys are dealing out to each other. There is no wanting for action or wanting for power in this fight. Ben Eccles backs him off with the right hand. And he wants him to quit pulling back the head. Eccles is upset that Bernard's pulling the back of his head. Oh boy, you're wasting big shots. See how sharp Hopkins punches are? Compare that to Echo's punches. And they both got a little piece of one another in that exchange. End of six, been an excellent fight so far. Welcome back, we come to round number seven. Fight is still there for the taking for either fighter. blood now from the nose of Eccles. It's been on and off throughout the last few rounds. And in Hopkins corner, they, Huey Fisher saying, don't go crazy now, don't go crazy. Yeah, systematically, round by round, trying to just break Eccles down a little bit, each round, put him back into his shell. See, Eccles still trying to fight. I don't think Hopkins is the kind of guy who goes crazy, though. He is very focused. You know, that's the best thing he has going for him. He takes his career very seriously. He says, I can't afford to have a bad day. I'm a professional. I must be perfect. I really wish a lot of fighters would have that same type of feeling. His uncle, Artie McLeod, got him into boxing. And Juju Hopkins, they were boxers in the 50s and 60s, started carrying him to the gym when he was a young man. And he went astray, spent six years in prison for assault and battery. And never looked back after that. He said, I knew as soon as I got there, what I needed to do was be as good as I could be, get out of there, and never come back. And he's done that. He's living a model life right now. Oh, yeah. He says, prison can't rehabilitate people. Only they can. I knew when I was in there that their life was better than a four-by-five cell. Oh, good right hand by Echoes. I think that hurt Hopkins. Yes, it did. Hopkins tries to fight off the ropes, but I think clearly that got his attention. Yeah, he's trying to fight his way out of it now, rather than hold, or rather than box his way out. Bernard Hopkins trying to fight his way out of the fight. Again, that's the sign of a pro. That's the sign of a guy who's been around. Don't let the other guy know you're hurt. Sure, and he has also felt the strength subside in Echoes. Remember how strong he was in those first three rounds? But I think Eccles is still carrying power. Oh, sure he is. He's got 18 KOs in the first three. Still able to deliver power punch up until about the eighth round. He hasn't looked like he's dropped off much in the power department to me. This, of course, the IBF middleweight championship. The holder in the red trunks, Bernard Hopkins, getting all he wants from the challenger, Antoine Eccles, tonight. Yeah, Barry, he hasn't jumped off in power, but sharpness he has. He's not as sharp as he was in those first three rounds. Missing the target way too much tonight. This is a championship fight. Go grab the card. You saw Hopkins oh, play a little cagey there. He tried to sucker him in. There's a pal of ours, Hector Camacho Jr., <laughs> now number one, rated by the WBA in the super lightweight division. We're going to be seeing him down the road. That kid is a lot of fun to be around. He's a good, good guy. And this is a good, good fight to be around. Yes, yeah, it has been great so far. I've got this very close fight, Rich. Good right hand by Echoes, took a 
good right hand from Hopkins. I mean, they have both, both felt the other's best. I think each guy has proven his chin here tonight because these guys are both power punches and both landed big ones. I have it exactly the same way. One point edge for Eccles right now. Another right hand by Eccles. Let's go to the corner of Bernard Hopkins with Sean O'Grady. Sean? Thanks, Barry. Over here with Bowie Fisher. You like this? Yes, well, so far everything's going along pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied. He's not just throwing enough inside shots for me. I want to see him double up inside a little bit. If he doubles up inside, he's going to get this job done. He's doing very well, but what mistakes is, uh, are Antoine Eccles making in this fight? Well, Antoine Eccles is trying to prove that he's the better man, but that's not the way to fight. The better man is the smart man. And here in this fight, that's how you're having Bernard fight. What, what would happen if, if he weren't fighting this way? Well, he probably had to get out there or he couldn't be hurt himself. So, so we, that's a gamble. How close is this fight, Bowie? Well, I, I, I'm quite certain we're winning the fight, but the fight's a good competitive fight. All right, Bowie Fisher, he's got his man ahead. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sean. The better man's the smart man. I can grab that, that's don't sage advice. Next from, time you're going to lose the point. Don't guy like Bowie Fisher. I love these guys that have been around the sport for as many now. years. All right, box. All right, break. You're tied up. Good break. Good break. Good break. Come on, guys. It's a great time. I think Hopkins has gotten things back a little more under control in this round than they were in the last round. Barry Eccles uh, was uh, putting some steam on him in that last round, putting the heat on. And Bernard has got the pace Break. back at a better Break. pace for him. Don't push off, just step back. Not Break. fighting with his back to the ropes nearly as much here in this round. Keeping the fight in the center of the ring for the most part. All right, don't punch him. All right, break. Break. Stop. Oh, stop it. You're, you're, you're grab, all right, you're grabbing behind the head and punching with both of you now. Knock it off, both of you. Don't grab behind the head. Box. Don't grab behind the head. It's been a, an ongoing speech of Frank Santori's. Coming to the end of the eighth round, and uh, as you said, Rich, I think a better round for Hopkins because he dictated the fight in this round. Echo seems to come alive when he hears that 10-second warning, though. We'll be back. Welcome back. We come to the ninth round, and the outcome's still in the balance. We're talking to by Frank Centauri before the first punch is thrown here in round nine. Louis really Fisher wanting Bernard Hopkins to double up more. Don't try to get it all with one punch. I think the most significant thing, Rich, is that he's able to keep Eccles in the middle of the ring. And just uh, in a battle of skills, Hopkins is better. He, it's, when Eccles is able to suddenly dictate the pace of the fight, as he's trying to do right here, very jump on him and get the fight into the, that kind of a rhythm, that's when things get a little rough for Hopkins. In just the recent fights, Eccles has proven his ability to score late round chaos. So don't write him off because the fight is this uh, far along. Let's go to Sean O'Grady, who is in the corner of Antoine Eccles. Sean? Yeah, Dan Dothers over here, and he's uh, doing a lot of coaching from the corner. What are you telling him, Dan? I want him to double up with a straight right hand. Du double jab first. See, a double jab sets up a right hand. That's the perfect way to box. You got to jab to set him the leaning back, then you follow through with a second jab when he's coming back, and then you drop the right hand on his way to coming to throw here. a different complexion in this fight here than earlier in the fight. Does that favor you or him? Yeah, favoring us, because see, the guy's been running all night. Judges don't like runners like this. Call yourself a champion. How close is there's a champion? You know the old adage. Well, you know what's happening here. Uh -oh. That was him. Got that wobble into the right hand. A lot of business over here. Back to you. All right. And the business now for Eccles is to hang on. He was clearly wobbled and almost dropped. And we talk about the fact that Hopkins is an excellent finisher. Now we'll see if Eccles can fight his way out of the fog. Yeah, dire straits right now for Eccles. His leg's still not under him. It was one punch, right hand by Hopkins, and it immediately, immediately he showed the effects Eccles did of that shot. And he's still wobbling in there. Yes, he is. His legs have not yet come back. And a long way to go yet. 50 seconds left in the round. He's a little off balance as he comes forward. He's trying to show Hopkins that he can take his punch. 